How are we going, everyone? It is a planting season for me. Look at this, look at that. Empty snail shell. If you've got snails in a garden, use coffee grinds, eggshells crushed down and pulverized, spread out, sawdust, or even better, Eco Radicate, which is the certified organic snail bait. Safe for animals, not that you're gonna feed it to the animals, but it's safe in case they eat some in wildlife. So you're not harming the environment, but you're getting rid of these little critters there. So it's Eco Snail Bait or Eco Radicate. Um, you can sprinkle that around your garden. I'm planting out, so for those who haven't seen me for a while, it's been about three months since I've been in a veggie garden properly because I've been doing so many other things in my life outside the veggie garden as well. Cara, get away from there, good girl. I've got some silver beet over there and the dogs were sniffing and I thought, make sure they don't do any wee on them. Hey, put your red rocket away, mate. Naughty boy. Now, I haven't been in here, so what I'm doing now, every day I'm planting out a garden bed or half a garden bed. So we've done our lettuce, I've beaten that to death, I'm not going to talk about that. We've done um, plugs over that side as well, some spring onions and leeks. We've done garlic on here, on the other side, have a look at them, they're about two weeks old, they're jumping out of the ground. And you know what's helping them along as well? It's the liquid gold and EK Butch applied on it. Do that every couple of weeks at half strength and they're going nuts. And so our, our lettuce over there. Now on this side here, I'm just raking it over, normally I'd say, you know, sprinkle some superfood and black red and mulch on it. This has already had, in the past, uh, it's, uh, cocoa fibre, black red and, and some superfood and charcoal. You'll see some biochar in here, all these little particles like that. That's all the, uh, the carbon that we've put back into the soil, which is so important. And these are just some old spring onions that I've moved around. Nothing, nothing fancy there. So what I'm doing, raking over, and I'm going to be planting more plugs because that's the way I'm going these days, folks, with these little plugger plants. Have a look at these. Now, what I've got here are purple cauliflowers. These are not white. They're not yellow. They're actually purple heads, similar to the colour of the stem there, as you can see there. We've got these available at the garden centre as well. Uh, and we're going to plant some of them out there. These are nice and young. Look how fresh the roots are. That's what I love about this tapered, uh, uh, what do they call it, plug? It makes the roots grow straight down and that's what you want them to do. So we're going to plant four in here. How are we going to plant this? Too long, not enough that way. We'll just go zigzag. One there, one here, one there, and one over here. Get that out of the way and out of the way. So we're going to plant them like that. If your garden bed, if you haven't finished planting out your garden bed, you're still doing some. See how I'm just scratching the surface, I'm not turning it over. Just breaking the surface tension so water can penetrate. We had a little bit of rain last night so the grounds are damp. If your garden bed needs work, and what I mean by work, come over this way, have a look at this garden bed here. This one hasn't been, we haven't fertilised this or composted this for at least, oh I reckon nine months, close to a year. Yeah, the last time we did this one was this time last year. We planted some tomatoes and things like that. So it's been sitting there resting. Let me get the rake. Let's see what's going on underneath. All right, let's just pull the mulch back. Have a look at this soil underneath here. What do you, what's in here? What's that? Uh, something dead. That could have been a capsicum or something like that. All right, let's just break some of this soil up. Oh. Now, what we do have a problem of here is the root system from the silver beet, it does travel far and wide, folks. That's where you get there, but that's okay. But look at the soil, how nice is that? Look, it just breaks away. Now this hasn't been fertilized for over a year, so what I'm gonna do with this one here is leave the mulch on, as I do usually. Leave it on top like that. And you'll see I've done it in previous videos. I'm gonna add my compost, my black root and super fit on top of this, and then plant on top of that, so we don't have to dig it over. If you want to plant directly in it and you don't want to add any more layering, just simply pull the mulch back, put your super food down, your black root, and push the mulch back over the top again. But I want to raise it up a little bit, so I'm going to leave the mulch there, and that breaks down, it becomes a food source for your microbes and your fungi in the soil. They start to feed off the carbon because bacteria needs carbon as a food source. It needs the nitrogen uh, element so you can keep it nice and warm. So that's the active uh, breeding um, a nutrient that you need to ha have in the soil. So your green waste, if you like, um, and blood and bone, things like that, our superfood, it's nitrogen based, or not nitrogen based, but it has got that in it, will activate the bacteria, then your carbon kicks in, which is what they feed off. And so having straw, bark, and different size grades of mulch in the soil is a great way to feed the bacteria, and in turn it starts to feed your plants. So that's why the mulch will stay there. We'll top dress this, 
with compost, black grid and then plant away. But over there, that was done, well, what are we now, June? end of June, I think this was done about four months ago, five months ago. So this can only do with a bit of a top up of superfood on top, nothing more and a little bit of black red. I'm not gonna put any mulch in the beds because I've spoken about that. Remember we spoke about mulch on garlic versus without mulch. They're both doing pretty well because this time of year, the grounds are moist. Yes, it is cold outside, but the mulch mainly helps well, the main purpose of the mulch is to stop the ground from drying up, the surface tension developing there. So this time of year, because it's not that hot, the sun rays aren't scorching all over the soil surface. So you really don't have to mulch if you can't afford to, but you can get away with it for now. But in springtime, you will need to. Now, these are purple flowering broccoli and these ones here, cauliflower, sorry. I was thinking about that for a second. No, purple flowering cauliflowers, purple cauliflowers, and these are what we call Romanesco or Brocco flower. Now this is a broccoli, but the, the head of it is similar to that of a cauliflower, and it's almost got a spiral twist going on it. It's beautiful. It's not purple, it's green, it's sort of a whitish green color. Some may say they're ornamental, but these are beautifully sweetly flavored as well, so you can enjoy the entire plant. So these are called Brocco flowers or Romanesco. Very, very popular in some communities, and we're gonna plant some in here. One, angle, two, three. They need to be about 30, 40 centimeters minimum apart, so they can develop their heads properly and their leaves. Uh, most people put them a bit further apart if you like and a little wooden dibbler. So we scratch the surface over, push a little hole, drop it in, lie there, press down. How easy is that, eh? <laughs> Another one. Press down, see there? Drop it in, push it down a little bit and just cover over. Nicely done. A few more to do here. And the last one, folks, there we are. So we've got some Romanescos and purple cauliflowers, both available at our garden centre in Coburg as plug a plant. Uh, everything's discounted. Enter Financial Youth sale, folks. Everything online is discounted. Use the coupon code word E-O-F-Y, e uh, and you'll get your big discount. Enjoy it. All at VasilisGarden.com. From me, Vasili, Maresi. Oh, by the way, grow tunnels are coming back, four in ones are turning up, and the builder frames are going to be in stock very, very soon. Check it all out. Parece.